Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome to the announcement video for the South American pack coming to Planet Zoo next week. Uh, just been announced on the forums, on Steam and on all social media, uh, we have a new DLC pack, similar in scale and scope to the Arctic pack that came out in December. Uh, we're talking about four new animals, one new exhibit animal and around 250 pieces of scenery. So we've got that very short clip there that you've just seen uh, and then of course we've got some uh, screenshots to go with it as well. First one shows an incredible vista of a, uh, a really quite fervent and uh, foliage filled scene. It uh, looks really great. Uh, me personally, as you know from if you're a fan of the channel, I'm a, I'm a big sort of proponent of realism. I build quite realistic zoos and theme parks in Planet Coaster. Uh, so when I see these screenshots, all I can do is go, wow, it looks amazing. Now, which bits of these can we rip out and put on a concrete block in a, <laughs> in a city zoo somewhere, you know? So, um, but there's some really exciting stuff here. The one things I really want to point out, scenery wise, we will get to the animals in a moment. Uh, it looks like we have a lot more sort of temple stone pieces, which I'm very excited about, uh, and they look like they're recolorable as well, which is also fantastic because at the moment we've been a little limited with that kind of stuff. Uh, there's been there's a couple of Asian rocks in the game, but they're a very dark grey and you can't change the colour of them. This is really exciting. Temple blocks are one of the basic uh, theming elements used across zoos all over the world, even relatively budget zoos, because it's basically basically concrete. It's basically form concrete with a bit of colouring in there that can make it look like a temple. So really excited to see what looks like recolourable temple blocks. And also, I mean, just look at this foliage. It is insane. Uh, this definitely seems to be a, a foliage heavy pack, which I think is fantastic. I am assuming that there isn't much foliage in the game that currently works in this kind of Amazon rainforesty kind of feel, which obviously is, uh, you know, South America is very famous for. Uh, so they've really filled that out. Hopefully we'll see a lot more sort of water-based plants as well, uh, because obviously, you know, some real marshlandy type stuff would be really cool, cool to try and create uh, alongside the uh, the rivers there. Uh, there's another landscape that shows a bit more of a sort of standard zoo-y type look, although it is still very highly themed. Uh, but here you get a really great look at the uh, the bamboo set that was teased a little in the uh, in the 1.2 update the other day. Again, always nice to have new scenery pieces. That bamboo looks fantastic. I quite like the uh, the natural benches there, uh, and this rope at the front looks really interesting almost looks like a fence almost as in like it's been drawn as a fence i'm not sure it may just be pieces and they've just been placed together nicely but even still i, I really like that rope fence as well um yeah so really excited to see some of the scenery 250 pieces more than the arctic pack uh you know we can always get a good use out of the scenery as a, as a sort of creative builder like myself very excited to see scenery now we move on to the animals and there's been a little bit of uh, contention with this and i kind of see it from both sides um there are four I'm going to say four animals. There's an awesome looking little tree frog. Uh, it is an exhibit animal, and I, I, you know, so you're kind of going to place that down and, and be done with it. So there's four animals that we're actually going to be building habitats for, okay? Um, now, for the price of the pack, I actually think four animals is about right. But calling this a South America pack and only giving us four animals from probably one of the most diverse uh, animal areas in the world, I think Frontier might be limiting themselves a little bit there because does that mean we're never going to get any more South American animals? Does that mean we're never going to see, uh, you know, all of the various different sort of fauna and flora that comes from that area? I don't know. That, that's Or maybe, maybe down the line we get South America pack two or something. I don't know. I do think that maybe... These packs, although these are really following the how the Planet Coaster packs worked, which was sort of four or five rides and a few hundred scenery pieces that fit a theme, uh, I think that worked really well for Planet Coaster. I think personally with Planet Zoo, I think they would be better off doing less scenery stuff and uh, and maybe making the packs even a little bit more expensive, but giving us sort of 8, 10, 15 animals from an area. Personally, that I think would, would do give a better balance uh, for the game, but saying that, uh, for the price we're paying, it's something like it's something like ten dollars, I think. It's about seven pounds, um, the same sort of price that the DLC always is. For that price, and uh, uh, you're getting quite a lot of scenery, and the animals you are getting are really gorgeous. So. Uh, the big one, I guess, for a lot of people is going to be the Jaguar, uh, gorgeous uh, big cat, and uh, and also one of the first, uh, I think the first actually sort of truly sort of arboreal cats in the game. So I'm really hoping we get uh, these animals climbing. I really hope we get to see them in trees. 
uh, because they are incredibly arboreal in real life. They spend a lot of time in trees. So I'm really hoping uh, that we get that. I know that the game doesn't necessarily throw the climbing animals up into climbing as much as it maybe could. So really hoping that's something we get to see. As far as the model is concerned, it's gorgeous. The skin texture there is fantastic. Uh, we'll have a look at the frog. Here we go. He's a red-eyed... Let me get this right. I've got it written down here. Uh, he's a red-eyed tree frog. He looks awesome. I'm a big fan of frogs, and I love these kind of frogs. I actually have a frog that looks very similar to this um, sat on my desk. <laughs> uh, like, Well, not a real one. A model from a rainforest cafe from years ago. Uh, big fan of those. I think they look really cute. I don't know anything about them. I just think they look cute. Um, but yeah, big, fa big fan of the, uh, the red-eyed tree frog. But again, yeah, he's going to go in and exhibit maybe into a reptile house, that kind of thing. No, he's not really a reptile, I know. Um, the Capuchin Monkey, I'm very excited about this one because it's another small primate. Uh, love small primates, especially for the kind of zoos I build. Small primates are very common in city builds. They're very common in uh, in budget zoos because they're relatively easy to keep for the most part, and they're real big uh, guest pleasers. You know, people love watching the little monkeys run all around. Uh, so really happy to see Capuchin Monkeys there. Again, hope they do lots of climbing. Hope we can get loads of them in a, in a space and get them all climbing around and playing with, with, with each other. I think they're going to look awesome. Uh, we also have a llama which again great yeah cool animal very sort of classic south american animal not really rainforest obviously which is why they've probably called this pack south america as opposed to sort of like you know south american rainforest um more central america i think maybe llamas but they look fantastic they're proper derpy creatures uh, again will probably fit really well in my zoo so i'm happy about that and to be honest with you the one i'm personally uh, most looking forward to is, uh, is the giant anteater, because I think he just looks derpy. I've said this many times on videos, uh, fans of the channel will know, I love the derpy, chunky, farty things that crawl around in zoos. You know, people go to zoos, they go to see the lions, they go to see the giraffes. No, I want to go and see the anteaters, I want to go and see the capoeiras, I want to go and see the, uh, the, the tapirs. I, they're the things I like, the things that should have that theme tune in the background. So I'm really happy to see the giant anteater as well. This pack is coming alongside the free update for 1.2 uh, on the 7th of April. Um, the only other new th bit of news I've got about that is that the uh, the 1.2 update is coming with some new path textures that are going to fit the South American theme that are free, uh, which is always nice to have. A more variation there is great. Um, but yeah, I'd like to know what you feel about this one. I, I personally am very happy with these small packs in a lot of ways because I still haven't put down half the animals in the game and, uh, and more scenery options. It just makes my lego box bigger for playing around with it but i can totally see that people who are playing this game from more of a, a sort of ecological viewpoint more of a sort of focus on the animals uh, may be a little bit disappointed with four or five animals from a, a whole continent um so yeah you know you, you look back at like some of the zoo tycoon updates they often had like 20 30 animals in them uh, and i wonder whether or not a, a larger animal number and less focus on things like scenery and new features is maybe the way to go for planet zoo in the future uh, it'd be interesting to see what you think and maybe we can ask Bo about it tomorrow so if you don't know we are actually going to be live streaming on both youtube and twitch and we're going to be hosted on frontiers twitch page as well uh, and Bo marit uh, the community manager is going to be joining us for a chat we're going to be playing some planet zoo all afternoon that's going to be 1 p.m eastern time so hopefully uh, we'll see you there for that uh, Bo will be in the chat there asking some questions i hope and maybe she said as well giving away some freebies which could be quite cool too thanks so much for watching we of course will cover this pack in depth when it comes out next week we'll do a whole scenery rundown like we always do and i definitely think some of these animals are going to be going straight into our zoo project that we're working on in the game as well thank you so much for watching hope you've enjoyed it till the next one be good 